Hi and welcome to the WordPress course. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the contact form 7 plugin. You can see that you have the contact option here. So just click on that. And here you have contact form 1. Uh, this is automatically created when you install and activate the contact form 7 plugin. And we are going to use this if you want to create a new contact form, then you can click on add new and then you can create that from here but i'm not going to do so so i'll just click on the contact form here and i'll use this one because 99 percent of the time this will work just fine okay 99 percent of the time so just click on edit and then go to this mail option and here is something interesting in this box you are supposed to write your own email so whenever someone fills up the contact form, the entire content, the entire email will be sent to the email address that you write here. Right now we have this code here and this code is actually uh, this. So I'll show you just in a minute. Just hover over setting and then hover over general and open the general setting in a new tab. And here is your site admin address. So that code is just for this address okay so this email address so what this plugin by default will do is that it will send an email to the uh, admin email of this website if you want to change this then you can add your own email over here I'm not going to do so but if you want to you can just write your email you can delete it like so and then you can write your email uh, hi I use or hi sivam at gmail.com or whatever you want to I'm not going to do that so that's it and now click on the messages tab these are the messages which you display so whenever someone hits the send button if the message has been sent successfully then this message will be displayed if you want to change this then you can do that uh, if sending the message fails so if the entire process fails if your server is somehow not able to send the email because of some error then this message will be displayed if you want to edit this then you can do that if there is any validation error so suppose that they have not entered their email address then uh, this message will be displayed okay so you can edit these error messages I'm not going to do that so just click on mail and after making all the changes to this contact form 1 you have to click on save otherwise your changes to this contact form 1 will not be saved but I am not going to do so I will use this plugin as it is I have taught you how to make changes and now I am going to show you how to use this plugin so just go to the contact form page and then copy this short code so right click and then click on copy and now we will create a new page so just go to pages and we have all these pages here we will add a new page so click on add new and close this box I don't want this and yeah contact us there we go and here you need to paste the code that you have copied so right click and click on paste and this option will appear it will ask you uh, to select the contact form the contact form 1 is already selected and see how seamless it is you don't have to write some code you don't have to do some crazy editing and things like that all of it is automatically taken care of if you want to remove this contact form then you can click on this option and then you can click on remove contact form 7 but again I'm not going to do so and yeah that's it I will click on publish and then publish to publish this contact us page and then I will click on view page and here is our contact form you can write your email and then you can send this email to that address and obviously that is not going to work on localhost but if you were on live server then this message will be sent and yeah that's it that's how you use the contact form 7 plugin if you want me to teach you all about this contact form 7 plugin then do let me know in the discussion section below i will show you how to add a new contact form and how to get date from user and how to work with different option i will show you all of that so if you want me to teach you all about this contact form 7 plugin do let me know i will have to create a separate section for that 
but as of now this is enough this is more than enough all right that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one bye